can they really get it together? That's a nice little dummy, though, by Gigo, but they've lost possession. Big fella Sam Burgess very quick onto that. Not the best offload. Good tackle by Kevin Sinfield. And Gareth Ellis gets to his feet, plays the ball to Sinfield. Here comes Jamie Peacock. He was counted out of this international about uh, three or four weeks ago when he was injured for the Leeds Rhinos. But, uh, boy, what a quick healer he is and what quick hands that was. Burgess brilliantly away. And here now goes Chris Bridge. Inside it goes to Gareth Winnett. And Gareth Winnett on his debut. Well, it was started with a debut, boy, and finished with one also. The pass from Kevin Brown was sensational. And what about the one-handed offload there by the big fella? Burgess, Bridge, back on the inside and the full back. That's how clever this guy is. He reads it exceptionally well. When it's going out there on the right-hand side, the full back Widdup is hairing down the center and Bridge kept his cool. Boy, what a moment for this guy. Scrum head and feed to England. Here is Kevin Brown. Brown then gets it to Widdup and Widdup gets it away to Burgess. Well, that's the second try. Red ball. Uh, Tom Briscoe, I beg your pardon. Tom Briscoe, not Burgess. Tom Briscoe with the second try. Free and Ragan, and it all came about by the error from Nicholas Pickamal and from the resulting scrum. Just basic, quick hands. Brown again. See how the dummy runner came back on the inside. That was Bridge, and you can see how Widdup just linked in. It was a wonderful crisscross. Watch Bridge come through on the inside here, and then it causes all sorts of problems, gets the overlap, and Tom Briscoe finishes it off with style. That's why he brought them over from Australia, Ellison Burgess. Well picked up that by Tom Briscoe. That was heading for a 40-20, but uh, Briscoe managed to stop that and stay in the field of play. Let's go down to Bill. Eddie, a good crowd here tonight, uh, probably a better attendance than the uh, the organisers might have been worried about, with certain other attractions taking place, but Gary Widdup among the crowd here tonight, and uh, proud father watching son Gareth in action, and the pair of them, of course, have come all the way full. In actual fact, uh, Gareth has come, of course, from Melbourne, but Gary Widdup has come even further from Perth, where he now lives. Uh, Gary making his mark with the uh, Melbourne Storm, of course. So uh, it's a big night already, but to see his son score a try as he's just pointed out to all the people sitting around him, that's my lad. And here come England again. That's great footwork from Widdup. And Widdup has got support within Bridge to Tompkins. And England over for the third try. Beautiful footwork from Gareth Widdup. Classy stuff, wasn't it? Big hit, but they got the ball away. Look at the step, in and out, took the dummy. Look how cool he is. Brings him through. Oh, good work by Bridge. Committed himself, and great support play by Sam Tompkins. Watch Burgess, even though it's a big hit from Ferriol. He took it, offloaded, through the dummy. Look how he goes on the arc. That is style. That is a wonderful try. Great combination. The trying to be rehabilitated back into it. He was a talented player. Don't forget, Peter Fox replaced him in the remaining games of the Four Nations. But I do keep think he is a, just as equally as exciting as Gareth Widdup. We just haven't quite seen it as much in the opening of this match. Drive forward here by Sebastian Ragan. And he gets a penalty because there was a bit of messing around going on by uh, the English captain, Jamie Peacock, on the floor. It's important now that the French consolidate. They've got to They've got to really camp down and apply the pressure. They've only been done it once in this game so far. Ferriol goes straight over the top of Sam Burgess. That's Muniz. Fires the pass to Munoz. Munoz looks for movement either side of him. This is Bentley. Winning his third cap tonight, Andrew Bentley. Muniz again is the dummy half. Comes deep. Good defence from England. That's Vilgasset, dummy half. And here is Jamal Fakir. Slips the short pass to Remy Kasny. And there's a chance here and there's a try for Bentley. The French are over the line. The silly penalty to give away when you were leading 18-0. But full credit, the beautiful offload by Remy Kasny. Coming from the okay, English outfit yet. This is Morley. Oh, they must have heard you, Steve. The trumpet has sounded. He's trying to get them going. 
Roby back to Tompkins. Here is Brown. Not the best pass to Bridge. He did well though, Bridge. First of all, to collect the ball and then extricate himself from the tackle. Good run from Chris Bridge. And his problems for Nicholas Munoz that was involved in that tackle on uh, Bridge. Would you say it wasn't the best? Uh, oh, nice try. Nice try. Second try for Sam Tompkins. He is a talent. Look at that. Well, he must have been about six inches off the ground as he made three metres forward. One, two, three. Oh, that's great. A having tremendous a, season. Having a fine season for Warrington. Yeah. And, uh, of course, now that he has decided to throw his cap into the English ring after his Irish international career, they've got a penalty here, England, for interference. Of, was it offside? The, no the, interference. The, the signals yeah. from the referee are yeah. not Super League-esque. Well, they're just messing around now that you can see that, that uh, Vacary, the winger, just got to it. Yeah, the, the point that I'm making is that when you know you've got the opposition and you think to yourself, a lot of the players, they just go a little bit more selfish, do things for themselves, but they're still playing as a unit in England. Well, they've got three men out wide. One of them is Tompkins. He's on for the hat-trick. Tompkins gets the first half hat-trick against the French inside 35 minutes. Certainly is, but again, playing to that right pattern, Beautiful hands. Combination was good. Handled the ball on two occasions on that time. And I'm impressed by the fact that Kevin Brown has just been the man to get the link through. He really is controlling things out there. He's having a fine game. So is this fella, his halfback partner. Here goes Morley to drive it forward. Sam Tompkins, by the way, two hat tricks for England. He's also scored two hat tricks for the Wigan Warriors this year in the Super League. And I wonder whether yeah. Michael Maguire will be tempted to uh, play him in the match at Wakefield tomorrow after after this. And also, of course, uh, Sean O'Loughlin, who is out there. I wonder if they'll be doubling up. The England coach certainly will be. Joel Tompkins might do as well. The England coach will be. He will be uh, with the Bradford Bulls at the Crusaders tomorrow, which is our third live match on Sky Sports this weekend. Lovely dink over the top from Tompkins and a lovely dink over the top from Widdop, and here's Tompkins for number four! Four tries for Sam Tompkins. That probably is the pick of them. Who's it in confidence? Chip over. It's obviously going to be there. Wonderful work from Gareth Widdop again. He then put boot to ball. That is a great combination between two young stars. Not of the future, but of now irrespective of who you're playing against and what the quality may be, that is of a higher standard.